Hey everybody, it's Lisa, owner of Peaches Skincare. Wear a hat. If you see me outside, I've got my lifeguard hat on. Get that blood flowing. It's like working out the arms or your muscles of your leg. Hey everybody, it's Lisa, owner of Peaches Skincare, and this is day two of our 14 day challenge. I want to call it a skincare challenge, but it's really about hair, skin, nails, fashion, ways to make you feel good during these challenging times, if you will. Um, today we're going to do some facial yoga, and I'm going to try to keep this a short video, but we're going to do it together. So I'm going to do at least 30 seconds of, I think, about four different facial yoga poses. Um, I want your face clean, so if your face isn't clean, uh, go in, exfoliate first to loosen all the sebum, dirt, oil, dead, dry skin. Wash your face. You can go ahead and then put on your eye cream or moisturizer or whatever you want to do for the day, and then we are going to do some facial yoga. Before we do, we're going to take our shot of apple cider vinegar. If you're not doing this, you really need to. Your gut health is so important to the health of your skin. When your skin is breaking out, when it's red, when it's irritated, when it you think it has eczema or psoriasis or rosacea, or all of those overly diagnosed diseases, and some of you may actually have some of those, but many times it's your gut health and it's more of a fungus or bacteria that is active on your skin. So I'm going to take some apple cider vinegar that we actually found at Trader Joe's. I found two at Costco that were under $10. This one was under $5. And I'm just going to show you, um, I may do apple cider vinegar with you each time during this video, I'm not sure. This is my little shot glass. I pour it probably about halfway. I then add some water to it and I'm going to just drink it down and try to get past my teeth so I don't affect my enamel. And then drink a lot of water. It just makes you feel better and it goes down easily. There you go, getting our gut health looking good. Now let's go ahead and start some facial yoga. I'm gonna to try to show you some newer moves. This is going to help with these beautiful lines that are along the sides of your face, along your nasal area. And all you're going to do, I actually want to see those. I don't want to look puffed up where I don't see my lines. I want to at least see them a little bit. I admit I'm very expressive, so mine might be a little deeper. I'm okay with that, but I'm always trying to get my cheeks to be a little higher and a little bit uh, more firm. So you're going to take a finger and you're gonna put it on either side of your nose to hold that area, if you will. And you're going to wrap your lips like so. And we're going to do this 20 times. So wrap your lips right here and you're just going to hold it. Twelve. And release. Now, I should say, you're almost feeling a pressure on this muscle here while you're wrapping your fingers. So this is giving you a little resistance, if you will, the fingers and your lips being wrapped around your teeth. So let's do 20 more together. Huh? Hmm. 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 10. And then let's just rub off all that blood towards your hairline. So that was two. I do love to do things in three, so we're gonna do one more. Again, we wanna do this together. Wrap your lips, hold your fingers for resistance against your cheeks, and 20. Ten. And let's rub off and that blood flow, and there you go. Now, the next one that we're going to do is 
fish, and I have showed you that before in another video, but we're gonna hold this, or going to hold this for about 20 seconds as well. You're going to take in the sides of your mouth, and what we're doing is we're really trying to work on the cheeks and this area. But the beautiful thing about your face is all of these muscles are connected. We have 42 muscles in our face, 43 with our neck, and they're all connected. And hopefully my menopausal brain didn't just say the wrong amount of muscles. Did I say it right, Kent? Okay, so we're going to hold it in just like a fish puckering, just like so. Mm -hmm. We're going to lift up our chin and we're just going to hold it. And it's going to strengthen here, here, and our cheeks, all of these wonderful muscles. So let's do this for 20 seconds. And release. Now we're going to do that two more times. Let's do this together. Hmm? Hmm? And release, and we'll do it one more time. Hmm? and release. Okay, so the next one that we're going to do, um, you've seen me do a lot and it's kind of an odd looking face, but you smile, stick out your tongue, uh -huh, and hold it. I also want you to keep your fingers here while we do that this time as well. And we're gonna hold that for 20 seconds. So smile, uh -huh. mm hmm. and release, but pull, or not pull, but just massage the blood and get everything cleaned in your lymph nodes. And we're going to do it one more time. Smile big. Mm -hmm. And you actually feel, whew, that feels great. You feel how strong your cheeks feel. This really works, but you've got to work it. And the point is I want you doing these every day. Find a time in your day to do them. Let's do one more. And clean out those lymph nodes and rub, rub out. There you go. I'm gonna show you one more and it's going to be for your eyes. Um, that last one we did really affects so many muscles of the face, but it's going to be for your under eye bags and your under eye area. And you can make that look better. Um, I have seen so many surgeries that have been botched. Uh, women coming to me asking for help. And so I'm always going to try to steer you away from that if possible. And this really can make a difference. Um, in some of my videos, sometimes you'll see, I think it might be this eye gets a little puffy. It's my eye where things drain a little bit more. That's why I show you a neti pot, but you really can affect your eyes with under eye masks and all kinds of things. So this will be our last yoga move for today. And essentially what you're going to do is you're going to look up and then flick your eyes, open and close them. And we're gonna do this for 20 seconds, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Hold it, look up, and then down again. And you're absolutely making all of this strong as well as here. And we're gonna do that one more time. Look up, flick. And just because I feel like this video is getting a little long, go down, I want you to do that one more time and I actually do have one more move. Now, you're going to take your fingers and you're gonna hold your eyebrows up 
and then you're going to close your eyes and you almost feel a resistance. And I want you to count to 20 for that as well. And that would be 20. And we'll do that one more time. But again, just for the time sake of the video, do each of these three times. You're going to put your fingers up. You're going to hold up your eyebrows and close and count to 20. 10, 20. And I want you to do that again. And then two, I do like you to drain things off or push the blood up towards your scalp. I hope those yoga moves helped. If there's a specific area you want me to concentrate on during these 14 days, comment with love below. There are so many amazing yoga experts out there that you can also look to, but these are some of the yoga moves that I like to use on my face. It takes time taking care of your hair, taking care of your body, taking care of your skin and building the muscles of your face. We're never going to have the collagen and the muscles we had when we were 20, but we're gonna look damn beautiful in our 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, and 70s. And I hope that you get to see that in your skin. We actually have some videos that clients have been sending us in that I think we're going to be using on our websites. And these women are in their late 50s, late 60s, and they look remarkable from following my guidelines for all of these years. I hope that you're all having a miraculous day, that you are filled with joy and love, and that you are getting something from these videos. All right, guys, that was day number two. Stay beautiful naturally.